Hey folks, do it here. Well, you saw me doing the um, the eating video with the, uh, the dude sis, and uh, well, it's the next day. I'm kind of still well recovering from that one. I'm a little hungry because I haven't eaten lunch yet. So uh, let me just deal with the facts at hand here. Mm, first off, must have a throwback. Just give me one second here. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Um, give me one second here. I'm fighting with the cameras. Camera tripod. It's being obnoxious. All right. Those of you who have cats know that when you go and eat, you need, of course, your knife. You need your, you need your fork. And um, well, you obviously need your spoon. But there's one more thing you always should have if you're eating when you have cats. That's right. The plant sprayer. Um, so when they come over and they get obnoxious, you can hose them down, but good, and they won't interrupt your meal. Good times. All right, so, uh, well, how's this all come to play? All right, well, Peter Watt and I, we all went out, and um, we hit a huge, well, Asian market. It is known, it used to be called Han or Reem, but now it's called H Mart. This thing is absolutely insane. He was going through there, and he was like, oh, dude, check this out. Oh, man, he got kimchi pickles, and he said those kimchi pickles were about some of the best kimchi pickles he'd had in a long time. Uh, we were drooling. We were chowing down. We were having all kinds of good stuff. All right, but why was I going through an Asian market? All right, well, I was looking for, well, cool stuff. Um, what did I find? Well, first things first, big-ass honking can. Not easy to read. Big-ass honking can of quail eggs. Um, what else did I get? Uh this. Nobody can read Japanese, or I can't really. I'm sure um, Takamori Monster sure could, but it says canned sardines and sweet soy sauce. That's win-win in my opinion. It obviously looks like um, that is most definitely a Japanese product. That's good stuff. All right, uh, what else did I get? Um, I got these, and um, doesn't really say too easily what they are, but it says um, braised, braised eel in dressing sauce. Um, Eel, vegetable oil, sugar, soy sauce, uh, vinegar, seasonings. Looks pretty good to me. And this one is from Taiwan. All right, what else did I get? Um, Well, I thought of my fine neighbor to the north. And I got some uh, liver pâté, which would be pâté de foie. Or which would be your product of Canada, uh, pâté de Canada. Uh, excuse me, Claire Quebecers. I know my French is horrible. Sorry. Um, let me grab some crackers. I'll be right back. Bumping the camera, sorry. Uh, crackers, crackers. Life giving sustenance, crackers. I know, like, crackers aren't, I know, crackers aren't life giving and sustaining in that regard, but damn, they do come in handy sometimes. Mmm, crackers. So now I got my bag of crackers. Alright, um, these guys go back up on top of the fridge. Uh,. Okay, it's out of my life. I should have probably planned this one better. Sorry. Um, you know what? I'm going for the gusto. I'm going to eat the strangest stuff first because I can. All right. Um, Mr. Can Opener. Mr. Can Opener. Mr. Kitty got a squirt because he's being obnoxious. Okay, let's see here. Now, normally I put a little bit of salt and pepper on my eggs. Um, I guess we're going to figure out where we're going to from there. Um, I'm probably going to just crack this and just drain it real fast, so I'm going to do that off camera. Oh yeah, it's it's basically full of water. Let me just drain this real quick. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a copious amount of not very good looking water in there. <laughs> oh, that was not pretty looking. Alright, so um, uh, let's get technical here. I mean, you know, a quail egg is basically... It, Ooh, good texture. Kind of a little rubbery. Um, let's see. Quail egg's basically just an egg. Um, slippery little booger. Okay, let's see. Quail egg is basically just a little itty bitty chicken egg. Let's give me one second here. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? It's. It's very close to chicken. Um, it does have a little bit of a different twang to it. Throw a little pepper there. Throw a little salt there. 
just a bit. And do a little bit of rolly rolly. Just give me one second here. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. I mean, that basically tastes um, nine tenths chicken. Except they're tiny. I mean, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab an egg real quick. I'll give you a demonstration. Mm. Yeah, they're not bad. Mm -mm. They are not bad at all. All right, but they're small. I mean, this is a um, 15-ounce can. All right, chicken egg, right? Chicken egg, chicken egg, quail. <laughs> I mean, you can see there's, you know, probably about... One, two, three. It's probably about three times bigger, at least. What do they taste like? Pretty close to chicken. It's really not bad. Mm. Get a can. There's not, you know, they're not cheap. Unfortunately, they're not cheap. But mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'd say in the zombie, zombie apocalypse, I don't think they're going to go running for the Asian market, clean their shelves. Hmm. Just an alternative of thinking. Ugh. That's not horrible. That is not horrible at all. I can eat these. Mm. 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 Mr. Kitty got himself another dosing of um, don't mess with me. Because he's messing with me. Mm. Alright. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to go through all this stuff. All right, let's try the liver pate. I, I know what liver pate basically tastes like. It's chopped liver. Uh, let's see. Implement of destruction. Peppers on the way. Um, you know what? I'm going to try a fork load of this first. Give me a sec. Oh, mommy. Oh, I hate the French. Mm. Oh, man, that's good, isn't it? Oh, that is good. Mmm. Get your liver pate. <laughs> Yummy. Excuse me. Mmm. 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 Yum. Liver pate. Okay. All right. All right, damn it. I'm going to make me an hors d'oeuvre. Hey, that's cat's being obnoxious today. Orange. Yeah, it's orange. You know it. It's flipping orange. Because it's always flipping orange. Alright, let's make a hors d'oeuvre. You know what? You're supposed to slice it up. You're supposed to make it pretty. But you know what? I don't flipping care. Just give me one second here. Mmm. Excuse me. Notice I didn't put hot sauce in there. It didn't need it, man. That's good. Mmm. Man, that's good. Oh, I'm going to scarf that down off camera a little later. All right. Um, this would be the uh, canned sardine and sweet soy sauce. Let's see what that's like. Mm. Ooh, lots of juice. Authentic looking. Yes, you know it is most definitely sardine. Mm. Mm. Had to clean that liver off. Just give me one second here. Mm. Okay, um, obviously this guy's tinned, so you can't eat the bones. The bones get soft. Just give me one second here. This looks very fishy. Um, they're pretty big, actually. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is not hateful. Mm-mm. That is not bad at all. No, in fact, it's actually really good. Mmm. Sweet sauce sauce. Obviously, sweet sauce sauce. To my tongue, it basically tastes more teriyaki. Um, the fish is not bad. It's it's definitely fishy. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It is most definitely sardine. It's got that fishy, twangy thing from the can. Um, let me kill this one. Oh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's not hateful. Mm -hmm. I could eat that. In fact, uh, I am eating that. Mm. Uh, excuse me one second here. 
after effects of drinking soda. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay, um, this would be the um, braised eel in dressing sauce. Mm. Obviously, I had a burp. That's always a good sign. Ooh. That is most definitely eel. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is most definitely eel, and orange is being obnoxious. Oh, it's got backbone. Oh, mommy, do I want to eat the backbone? Well, it's not a big deal. It's crumbling up, so it's obviously been harsh tin, so just give it one second here. Mmm. 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 I'm getting a five spice hit off of this, so if you don't like licorice, don't eat this. Mm. It's very Chinese. Very, very Chinese in flavor. Huge amount of five spice. Um, fairly sweet. Um, the eel really doesn't stand out so much. Believe it or not, you really don't taste the eel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I mean, it's way in the background. Mmm. It's not bad. It's really kind of not the best thing I've eaten. Um, to me, it really just tastes like the five spice powder. A lot of the sweet sauce. Um, the eels just washed out. I mean, I really like the taste of eel too. I mean, I love eel rolls, and it's just it's not doing it. Mm. No, I'm gonna call this one a loss. This is this is not that great. I wouldn't go out of my way for it. The sardines are okay. Mm. Excuse me, I got sardine and um, <clears throat> eel juice on me. Mm. Mm. Pardon me. Nope. Um, I keep going back to this pate, man. That's just all there is to it. I keep going back to the pate. Oops. Mm. Okay, when, when spreading your pate, don't just grab a cracker and stick it in there. He's been really obnoxious today. Mm, that is good. All right, let's let's go a little wild and crazy here. Some pate, and of course you must have your hard-boiled quail egg. Mm, now, what can I dress this up with? Teriyaki? No. Um, ooh. Yep, that's a winner. Yep, 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 yep. A wee splash of Worcestershire. Oh, excuse me one second here. I'm eating high class. Um, pinky extended. You know, sometimes the saying about less is more. I think that's one of those occasions. I mean, the Worcestershire was okay. But, um, I'm really just digging the, uh, Mm, cracker crumbs. Just give me one second here. I'm really just digging on the pate. I mean, the pate itself is just extremely good. Um, now, to put it in perspective how much this place was stocked up, they had uh, Kraft cheese in a can from Bahrain. They had um, corned beef from New Zealand, corned beef from Australia, corned beef from um, Brazil. <sighs> Excuse me. And this is all on the same shelf as all kinds of canned varieties of everything else, with the exception of octopus. I guess the Chinese, the Koreans, the Asians, by and large, aren't big on octopus, which is crap, because I thought they were, but there wasn't any canned stuff to be had. I was a little annoyed with that one. Tell me to, tell me to go there, look at all this cool stuff, but um, it's not on the shelf. I was annoyed. Now, I'm going to tell you what. If you're playing combat survival gourmet... And you're eating like this. This is good time. Let's give it one second here. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. No doubt about it. If I'm surviving, surviving, I made a new word. Uh -oh. If I'm surviving <laughs> and I'm having to eat this stuff, I'd be a happy ass camper and I would be doing very well. And. I would commend you guys to basically try anything weird that's on the shelf, with the ex exception of tripe or mondongo, but I have seen tripe and mondongo on the shelves. Just give me a second here. 
I'm just not big into the stomach stuff. Uh, and you know, like the Brits call it pluck. Uh, everybody else calls it entrails or offal or all this other stuff. I'm just not into it. It just doesn't do it for me. And I'll eat something else that's probably going to be, well, more to my palate. All right, folks, uh, here's another episode of Dude Eat Strange Stuff. And um, I'm going to have annotations with the other video. And uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going back to the pig feet because this pate is just kick-ass. Mm, thank you there, French guys. Uh, it's a love-hate relationship with the French, I tell you. All right, um, all right, they're, I, I hate them sometimes, you know, societally, but I love their cooking. <laughs> oh, I love their cooking. All right, folks, here in the 80s Podcast Channel, as they see you, and as always, here in the 80s Podcast Channel, I'm doing strange stuff, and, um, you guys get to see it firsthand. Uh, I get to hose down the kitties, and they don't get to see it too close up and personal, but, um, I'm giving them good exercise. So here in the 8th Podcast Show, I say see you, and as always, always...